uh, beautiful organizations for me are organizations that contribute in a positive way to a world which is sustainable. My name is Lothar Wenzel. The question I always get is what I mean with beautiful organizations, because beauty is a, a term that is very ambiguous and very often creates ambivalence. Uh, beautiful organizations for me are organizations that contribute in a positive way to a world which is sustainable. Beautiful organizations are also organizations that create within their boundaries in in the, in the organization itself, a space where people can work together on eye-to-eye -eye level, can work together respectfully and can live up to their full potential. That's a big question to, question to ask me about essentials in leading organizations because we live in a world that is so complex, so ambiguous, so ambivalent. There is such a level of complexity that, and, and it has risen so so heavily in the last years due to all the topics that are on the agenda of organizations at the moment. I would bring it back to the topic of sustainability, but sustainability in every sense of the word, ecologically, socially, but also when you look in, inside of organizations to the topic of how to sustain communication how to sustain meaning, for example, in organization, which is maybe the core topic of organizations, to sustain or maintain or produce meaning, and by that produce energy for whatever the organization needs to do. So in the end, leadership or steering organizations is all about energy, it's all about meaning, and it's all about communication. And with communication, I don't mean communicating people to people, important, but much more important is how to structure communication. Yeah, when we come into an organization, believe it or not, it's, it's so trivial, but it's, what the big challenge is, is to understand or grasp what the organization is about. Most importantly is to understand what patterns are to be found in an organization, because if you find the patterns, so the structures, how people and processes are running through the organization, we can change them. Evaluate them, what of those are functional patterns, what are dysfunctional patterns, and what therefore do we need to keep and strengthen as a resource, and which ones do we need to, to change. Uh, in the end, my, my thesis is that no organization will will survive, also not economically, if it doesn't at least manage to, to sustain and balance economic, ecological and social development.